In this video, I'm actually going to be going over how to make interactive music using state switches in WISE. In order to do this, you're going to have to have one musical track that is split into multiple layers. And then you can actually call the states in-game to switch between the music. So in order to get started, I'm going to go over here to the left to the interactive music hierarchy. And under the default work unit, I'm going to right click and I'm going to go down to new child and create music switch container. And I'm going to name that music gameplay level one. So now that you've created the switch container, what you're actually going to do is going to right click on the switch container you just created and you're going to create another child and it's going to be a music playlist container. And this I'm going to name level one bass. And you'll notice I just named that bass and that's not actually talking about the physical instrument bass. It's actually talking about the base layer of music in the game, which means that nothing else is actually going on during that time frame. So what you're going to do next is you're going to go over to that container and you're going to right click and you're going to create new child music segment. And you're going to name that just base. So now you should have the hierarchy switch container, music container, music segment. And then under this music segment, you're going to right click and you're going to import audio files. So here you are on the audio file importer and you're going to go to add up here at the top and then you're going to go to where your actual files are stored and then you're going to click on base.wave and then you're going to import it and close and then if you go over here and you click on the tree you can see that the actual file was imported under the base. Now with this video I'm actually including a download link to a music track that I created that has four different segments. So for this video, I'm going to be showing you how to put together a base layer, a battle layer, a critical layer, and all the layers combined. So the next thing you're going to need to do is you're going to need to go back up to your switch container, and you're going to have to redo the process of creating the music container, then the music segment, and importing for the three other parts of the actual music track. So here we are with all four of the actual layers of the music loaded into the actual project. And now that you're done loading them all in, it should look something like this. So the next thing you're going to have to do is actually create the states for all these different layers. So in order to do that, you're going to need to go over to the Game Syncs tab. And then under States, you're going to right click on Default Work Unit and create a new child and create a state group. And we're going to call that Music Level 1. And under music level one, you're going to right click and create new child and you're going to create the individual states for the actual music. So there's going to be bass. So once you're done importing all of the states, you should have bass, battle, critical and all, all within your state group. So the next thing you're going to do is you're going to go back to the audio tab. And what you're going to do is you're going to actually go up here to layouts and you're going to click on interactive music or you can just hit F10. So now that we're on the interactive music layout, what you need to do next is you need to actually go to each one of these music containers and on that container you need to actually add the music segment below it. So for the actual all container, if you just go to the all segment below it and drag it over here to the group segment, you can see that it's added. And then from there, you go over to the loop counter and hit down on both of them so they're infinite loops. And then you're going to continue to do that for the other three. So once you're done loading all of the music segments into the music containers, the next thing you're going to do is going to go over to the music switch container. Now on the switch container, you're going to go over to the switch type over here and you're going to actually hit the state button. And then in the group, you're going to go to the drop down and you're going to click music level one. And then for the default switch state, you're going to put it at base. So now that you added the state group music level one, down here you can actually see the individual states. So what you need to do is you need to actually drag the individual music containers to the states. Once you have that done, the final thing you actually have to do is go to the transitions tabs up here. What you're going to be doing is actually creating crossfades. So you can leave the source and the destination at any. And then when you go down to the source here, Click on this drop down here, and as you can see, you have a lot of different options for the exit source. Since I actually bounced each one of these files to be the exact same size, I'm just going to click immediate. Next, I'm going to click on the fade out button, and then I'm going to hit the edit. 
Now here we are in the music fade editor. In the music fade editor, you have three options, which is time, offset, and your curve. And the time is actually the time of the total elapsed fade. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this into one and a half second long fade. And then on the offset, you're actually going to slide it to be right in the middle here. And then for the curve, I'm going to choose a logarithmic curve. Now I'm going to close out of that. Then I'm going to go down to the destination. And I'm going to go to the sync to drop down window. As with the exit source, you have a lot of different options for the destination. Since all these files are the exact same time length, I'm just going to tell it to do same time as playing segment. And then I'm going to go to the fade in button, click on it, and I'm going to hit edit for this. Generally for the fade in, you want it to be the exact opposite of your fade out. So you're going to have it be 1.5, slide the offset to the middle, and create a logarithmic curve, and exit out of that. So now that you've done that, the final step that you actually have to take before you can audition this is you're going to go to each one of the individual waves and you're going to double click on it. And then the music segment editor is going to come up. In the music segment editor, you notice you have an entry queue and an exit queue. And these are used for setting loops. If you actually created a song with an introduction or an outro, what you can do is you can set the loop to specific time frames. And then Wise will actually play the intro and then it'll start the loop. And then after the loop is completed, it'll actually play the fall off as well when it loops. You want to make sure that it's snapped to bars and beats. So that way it actually syncs up to the end of the file. So now that this one is done, you can go ahead and do it for the other three. So now that all four of the music segment entry and exit cues are set, we're ready to actually audition the music container. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to the switch container and I'm going to click on it. And now I'm going to go down to the bottom left to the player and make sure that you actually have the drop down set to bass. And I'm going to go ahead and cycle through these so you get an idea of what it actually sounds like. And there you have it, interactive music using states in WISE. Well, I hope this tutorial helped, and be sure to check out my page in the future for more tutorials. Thank you.